Some of the world's most amazing landmarks may be seen in Kenya, our own country. Every year, right around August, a large flood of vacationers come to the nation, mostly for the beaches, the wildlife, and the cultural experiences. The thrill of the absolute perfection and beauty of nature, however, can be found in certain regions that are still undisclosed, or at least are not as accessible to the rest of the nation and the world. In this video, I'll share with you 10 of these places whose experience will amaze you. Before we continue, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time, you are most welcome. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. To the returning subscribers, welcome back. Number one is Blood Red Alkaline Lake in Capedo. Any ordinary Kenyan hears the name Capedo and immediately thinks of livestock rustling and inter-community conflicts. The surrounding communities have long been interested in Capedo Valley, which is located on the border of Trucana and Baringo counties. However, one of the nation's most stunning landscapes can be found hidden beneath the banditry and ethnic tensions. A blood-red alkaline lake is found in Capedo. The Red Lake, according to legends, represents the bloodshed that has occurred in the region over time. Scientists argue that the lake's salinity rises as it dries out. What is left of the lake is a good breeding environment for Danaliela algae, which turns the water to a blood red color because of the warm water's high salt content. Number two is the shape shifting swamp of Odiri. Odiri swamp is located in Kiambu County. The experience you have at Odiri is unlike anything you have ever had. A lot of people who have gone there have thought the swamp was a natural wonder. When you walk around it, the area surrounding the swamp has a shaky nature that makes you feel as though you are sinking into the earth's bosom. You are likely never going to forget it anytime soon because it is such a peculiar yet frightening event. When we talk of strange places in Kenya, deeply shrouded in myth and mystery, then Ondiri Swamp qualifies as one of those strange places. It is tricky to distinguish fact from fiction when listening from the natives speak. Strange tales of people sinking into the swamp and their remains discovered in Mombasa, Naivasha or Nakuru have been told. Odiri is the only quaking swamp in the nation after Dola in Cameroon. It is surprising that it hasn't been classified as a national treasure yet. Number three is the Milky Curse of Marafa Depression. This one is located in Malindi, Kenya. The Devil's Kitchen and Nyari, which both mean the place broken by itself, are other names for Marafa Depression. Due to internal geological forces of denudation, a spectacular site of stalactites and stalagmites developed on limestone rock. A stunning view may be seen from this distinctive ridge of towering gorges and gullies. Some people compare it to Bison and Arizona's Grand Canyon in the United States. According to local mythology, a family was wiped off by God because of their luxurious lifestyle. It is said the family would use the extra milk they produced to take baths at the expense of their poor neighbors. They carried out this action as their neighbors looked on. God then sent an earthquake that swallowed them up and because of this, the stones in Nyari's spot are an expressive milky white color. Number four is the haunted crater of Menengai. This is located in the Rift Valley of Kenya. Not only is Kenya's Menengai crater the largest caldera in Kenya, but also in the whole world. Despite being a dormant volcano, it provides breathtaking view of Lake Nakuru and Lake Bogoria. Through tales of strange happenings, a controversial cave at the crater attracts people. This place is haunted according to many. It is said that the crater is the site of several unusual events. 
One of them is people losing direction for hours or even days and when their relatives find them, they appear to be in a dream. Like Kipia and Lipuko Masai against in bloody battles at one point according to historians near Menengai Crater. The Laibon, the spiritual leader, was not respected by the Laikipia Masai. The Lipuko once tossed the latter into the caldera during a battle. Perhaps the tourists here are haunted by the spirits of these sad warriors. Number five is the anti-gravity hill of Chamuilu. In Machakos County, there is a hill that defies gravity. On a section of Chamuilu known as the anti-gravity slope, water flows upward for a distance of around 100 meters. According to legends, the dwellings of two Kamba men known as Mwilu and Chalo, who shared a woman, were divided by a stream that flowed normally downwards. The woman would determine each evening who she would spend the night with by sitting along the stream. The two guys were buried uphill when they died. Water now flows uphill because they continue to compete for their woman's attention even after they have passed on. Science attributes it to an optical illusion. Researchers believe that the layout of the surrounding land creates a visual deception that the land is sloping uphill when it is in fact sloping downhill. Number six is Nzambani Rock in Kitui County. If you've ever thought of changing your agenda, then this should be your next destination. It is a stone outcrop that is 183 meters above the ground and is referred locally as Evia Yanzambani. It is located along the rocky Kitui Motito Road, about 8 kilometers from Kitui town. The myths surrounding the rock have aroused people's curiosity and drawn a lot of travelers. It has a metallic staircase to its top, which was built some years back. From the top, one has a 360 degrees view of the Kitui County. This rock is visible from a distance of 60 miles away. The stone has many tales. For example, some people claim the stone is living, while others claim to hear noises from the direction of the stone. It's also believed that anyone who goes around the stone seven times would be changed into a member of the opposite sex. These are just tales, as no personal account of the tales have been given yet. It's believed that it came to existence when three girls went to look for firewood and one girl found a round stone that she picked and hid in her chest to take to her grandparents for pounding tobacco. The stone started growing big and heavy and by the time they finished fetching firewood, she had already turned into a rock. Number 7 is the haunted pillar of Baraki, which is located in Mombasa. After Fort Jesus, which dates back 300 years, the haunting pillar which stands 50 feet tall is regarded as the second oldest monument. Its function in the ancient world is a topic on which historians and archaeologists have never been able to agree. Although some believe it might have had other uses, Others claim it might have been an early version of the lighthouse. An Arab spirit with strong magical healing skills is said to reside within the walls according to local mythology. To perform fertility rituals at the base of their pillar in the hopes of becoming pregnant, women have been known to travel from afar to seek some help from this pillar. The Sikh live offering here believing in healing too. Other people avoid visiting the pillar due to her belief that it was possessed by ghosts. Number 8 is Lake Simbi Nyaima in Karachonyo, near Kendu Bay town. It is also known as the buried town or the Simi Nyaima in the Luo language. The origin of the lake, sometimes known as the Ealing Lake, are the subject of supernatural sounding tales. Simbi Nyaima attracts many tourists, both local and international, 
because of its beautiful scenery and strange tales of its formation. Scientists say it's a crater lake formed about six centuries ago. However, legends say that there was once a community that existed here and disappeared in a storm when residents refused to shelter and feed an old woman who was seeking for help from them, creating a large depression that formed the lake. Locals believe that the water from the lake, which is very saline and sulfurous, is medicinal. The lake can be smelled from more than 40 kilometers away because of its sulfur content. Number 9 is Gendi Ruins. Gendi Ruins is located south of Malindi within a dense indigenous forest. The most surprising thing is that there is no written record of its existence. The question then is who lived there and why they abandoned the city. This Swahili city was constructed with rock and coral. The city was arranged so well with water wells, advanced sanitation, and drainage systems as well as flush toilets. Till the 16th century, the city had flourished very well until it was abandoned for unknown reasons in early 17th century. In 1927, the ruins were declared a national monument. Number 10 is Kit Mikai. The name Kit Mikai means stones of the first wife. It is located around 1 km from the Kisumu Bondo route and 29 km from Kisumu town. According to legend, an old man named Ngeso became intensely fascinated with the rock so much so that he even built a house for his wives there. The wives foresaw the possibility of the rock falling on them and persuaded Geso to leave. Geso continued to visit the rock despite being further away, frequently spending the entire day with friends and entertaining them, while also earning money by selling to the locals the herbs that grew there. When at the rock, his wife would bring him food and drink, and when asked about her frequent afternoon escapades, she would frequently muse that her husband had left for his wife, earning the nickname Kit Mikai. The people adore the rock because they think it has healing power, and that with the right offerings, it may fend off evil or bring wealth to a person's life through difficult times. By climbing the rock, you get a spectacular view of the area. Thank you so much guys for choosing to watch this video and for watching it till the very end. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Like the video and leave a comment in the comment section. See you.